The purpose of this podcast is to show you how to find a case study for your IPP case presentation assignment. In this assignment, you are asked to find and present on a case study and then to create an abbreviated IPP for this individual in the case study. And so the purpose of this podcast is to sh first show you how to find a case study and then how to use it um, for this assignment. So let's start with our homepage. We're here on the RM471 homepage. To get what we need, we're going to go to content. We're going to come down here to general resources. And there are two research um, I usually like to click on all the resources. There are two general resources that I would encourage you to go to. Library research guides is more of a general one. Library research is more specific to our course. And this will pull up a link for our library research database. Um, while we are doing research for TR specific things, I would encourage you to use this place, this site, this page. For this specific assignment, I would encourage you to go a little bit more general and a little bit more broad because there are not a whole lot of case studies out there in recreational therapy. So here we're going to enter our search. And on search, it's good to be as specific as you want so that you get what you want, but not too specific that you don't get the generals that you need. So something that I would suggest doing is using quotation marks. So I'm going to put in case study. And then I'm going to put in maybe my group. So let's say I'm in the at-risk youth group. So I'm going to put that in quotation marks as well and see what that search brings up for me. Here we go. We've got a few case studies that we might be able to choose from. It may be helpful for you to go in and review the case study to ensure that it gives you the information about an individual that you need to create an IPP. In order to do this, you're going to have to go into the syllabus or into the specific assignment and see what is required of you for that presentation. As you do so, you can review any of these case studies and use them. Now, using these is not going to be like getting them from a TR-specific journal. While some people may be able to find a TR-specific case study for their presentation, not everyone will. And so as you're reviewing these case studies, you are going to be looking at the information given as if you are being given the information from another professional with, with whom you're working. And so that you would take that and apply it to this individual as a recreational therapist. This is a unique opportunity for you to learn and grow in the, um, in the thinking of a recreational therapist and how to set goals and objectives based on the information that you get. Um, so... Again, unique opportunity for you to think like a recreational therapist working on a treatment team. If you have any questions or concerns about this assignment or about finding a case study, please contact your instructor. And I hope this was helpful and will help you find a case study for your assignment.